Okay, let's talk about service valve operation. You're going to find service valves typically on refrigeration type of equipment, not necessarily on residential or commercial systems. Step number one is remove the two caps from the system. This is on my liquid line, so I'm going to hook my high side hose to it. Next step, I'm going to make sure the packing for this service valve is slightly loose. I don't want it tight, but I don't want it loose either. So I'm just going to slightly loosen that so that my uh, shaft is able to go up and down easily as I turn it. Next, I'm going to use my service wrench. Going to find the right size for that. Put it on my service valve. And now I'm going to turn the service valve stem in clockwise off the back seat. Probably a, like a half a turn, nothing more than that. Now you'll see I, I can see my pressure on my high side of my system. I would do the same with my low side of my system, do the work I need to do, and be complete with that. When I'm ready to pull my hoses off, I'm going to use my standard uh, hose removal process by putting the high side pressure into the low side. Uh, today we're just going to take these hoses off. So first step is I'm going to close my service valve stem by going counterclockwise until I come to a stop, just snug, nothing too crazy. I'm going to retighten my packing, just snug again. Now I can remove my refrigerant hose, place it back onto my manifold set, replace the caps on my system, clean up any oil that I may have made a mess with, 